Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Prospero Events Group, and I'm Anna Gobichaishvili, uh, uh, principal producer of uh, SMR's uh, virtual conference. And uh, today I would like to introduce uh, Reno Krasaus, uh, director of SMR's uh, projects at IDEA France. Uh, Reno is working on Nuvard's project currently. Hello, good day, Reno. Thank you for your time. Hello. Today. Nice to meet Nice to meet you too. Uh, so, Reno, um, in your opinion, why uh, the nuclear and energy industry is so excited about SMR technologies? Wow. Uh, well, first, we, we as engineers are all excited because SMRs come with a lot of innovation and, and it comes to be an important decade for the world nuclear industry with all this innovation. Uh, it also shows our capacity, I think, to find new technological solutions and to reinvent ourselves. Uh, but second, we also have, I think, a date with history. Uh, most of us are, are convinced, deeply convinced, that nuclear have to play a great role, an increasing role in decarbonizing the world uh, and mitigating climate change. And then we, we think that SMS will help to decarbonize electricity, increase electrification of end users and, and eventually produce huge quantities of hydrogen, especially with the Gen 3 SMRs that are likely to be ready uh, before the end of this decade. Okay, I see. Uh, it seems like these uh, technologies open a lot of opportunities, which is great. So the second question is, uh, in your opinion, what are the main challenges that the industry needs to overcome uh, to help uh, widespread adoption of SMRs and commercialization in Europe? Well, the first one is certainly uh, that we have to manage to, to honor all the promise, uh, the bets that uh, we, we, we will reach competitiveness or thanks to simplicity, modularity and standardization uh, instead of relying mostly on, on scale effects on, on huge uh, plants. But we all know that it will be possible only with a strong series effects uh, for our SMS. And this comes to the second challenge, um, is that we need the support of administrations, governments, international agencies, safety authorities, to build uh, an international framework for SMS, something like a level playing field, uh, where several technologies and models can emerge and and progress and reach competitiveness together uh, to help climate change mitigation. Okay, great, thank you. Uh, now, a very logical question. Uh, we know that EDF is working on a very interesting project, which is New Art. So my question is, um, what is EDF's role uh, in front of SMR's deployment in Europe? And if you could please introduce your project that you're currently working on, which is New Art. Yes, with pleasure. Uh, well, EDF's rationale and, and, and strategy is to provide low carbon energy uh, services uh, for all kinds of customers. And it is fully logical to develop multiple nuclear solutions um, as options in our portfolio. And we precisely want to expand our offer to address the specific needs for, for small reactors. Uh, this is still an emerging market. Uh, but a very promising one. And with New World, we will build uh, very robust models with uh, the right combination of proven technologies and, and innovations. The project has taken off around 2010, and it is founded on the rock of the know-how of several French nuclear industrials together. Uh, and as it's going on, it will be increasingly European as a uh, the design and the manufacturing of new world will allow us to associate an, an increasing number of, of partners in Europe. As I can see, uh, it has great potential to become one of the uh, groundbreaking uh, projects in Europe, right? Which is great to hear. We hope and, so. <laughs> yeah, I hope so too. Uh, I'm super excited to see you at the conference. Thank you very much uh, for your interview for this time and joining the event. So I uh, wish you good luck and success with your project and see you at the conference. Thank you very much, Renaud. Goodbye and see you. Thank you. See you soon. Thank you.